All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we have a Smith fig that I picked, and I want to eat this because I'm very interested now that we've been in a drought. It's been super hot here. These are like conditions like California uh, or the desert, Arizona, West Texas. I'm really getting an insight into what it's like to grow figs in those locations right now. Um, and I have to say that this particular Smith fig was on the tree here and yesterday it really was not ready to be picked. In fact, I would have said that it wasn't even close to be ready to be picked and that if I would have picked it, it really wouldn't have been good at all. Like today it's a total different story. So I don't know how this happened overnight. I know that the temperatures, because they're so warm, they really ramp up, they quicken the ha the hang time, and the hang time is just shortened. So typically if this takes six or seven days to ripen here, this one seemed like it only took three or four. And in that third day, insanely enough, this just feels really ripe. Um, let me try it because I guess we'll really know if we taste it. Uh, that's ripe. It's typically not as ripe as I would normally eat them. So I think the hang time is definitely speeding up. The fruits are becoming ripe a lot quicker. Um, let's try it. Whoa. That's really good. <laughs> I have to say, I think it's just really what it comes down to in this climate is that the reason why our fruits don't taste nearly as good is because we don't have this hot and dry weather. When the figs are hot and dry like this, they ripen so much quicker and also the water is sucked out of them when they ripen. So this is a pretty good insight, I think, as well, into what I will experience in a greenhouse. And that the fruits, if grown in a greenhouse, and hopefully it's dry enough, we can mimic these conditions. This is incredibly thick, this smith, but the skin is rather tough. So it seems like maybe the um, this hot weather actually is doing a couple different things. It's thickening the skin because the skin doesn't have enough time, I guess, to soften on the branch. If the temperatures are cooler, I guess the skins will be softer. If the temperatures are warmer, the skins are tougher. And it also, as the temperatures are warmer and drier, they ripen quicker. And as they're drier, potentially the inside is a bit thicker and more a lot along the lines of jam. So this is a super high quality fruit. Wow. That's just insane. This is like on the level of a black Madeira in terms of flavor as well. So this is one of the best textured figs, one of the best tasting figs. This is just insanely good. And this is what you guys experience all the time. Man, I'm jealous. So, I guess that's really the big difference there between this climate and drier ones, hotter ones, and how that really affects the fruit qualities there. You know, there's nothing like actually going to some of these places though and eating the figs yourself, but that was a pretty intense experience I just had. And uh, I think the conclusions I'm drawing are fairly accurate. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We're just really enjoying this drought and also dreading it at the same time. But I think it's totally worth it here in terms of the fruit quality that we're seeing. I only wish that this would continue for all of my fig season instead of just a part of it. But 
a man can dream. All right, guys. We'll see you soon, all right? Thanks for watching. Go to our blog, figboss.com. We have so much information there. Recently, I've been really putting out some great stuff over on the blog. And uh, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys soon, all right? Take care.